today we have uh, the Glen Morangi, uh, the original, on my cask. It's the 10 year old expression from Glen Morangi, and it's a nice expression to feel the character of the distillery as it's only been distilled in first and second fill bourbon cask and Glenmorangie has a policy of just using their casks once and twice and then they're off somewhere else. You can still sell these casks a lot to the blend market. Yeah. Why am I tasting this? This is because this is the new design and actually the stuff inside has not changed. And yeah, you can write down in the comment, comments what do you think about the new design. Is it any good? Do you think you like the old one better? We've seen a lot of new designs from Glen Morangy coming out. So this is kind of fits all into this new design range. And what I do like about the Glen Morangy is the flavor. I do really like the flavor of Glenmorangie as um, kind of an everyday flavor to enjoy. Uh, it's very pleasant, it's very nice, it's uh, fruity and very yeah, tropical. And this is not or well, partly because of the shape of the stills. Everybody with Glen Morangy is, oh, the stills, the stills, the stills. What they take out of the equation with saying that is that uh, the fermentation, because the fermentation at Glen Morangy, they have a nice recipe with the malt and the yeast and the timing and yeah, temperature and everything. And by that, they get a very, very nice uh, tropical flavor in there with, um, yeah, most of them call it pineapple. Some even say mango or other fruit, like a, a little bit of a citrus character, but that might come from the bourbon casks. And yeah, entry level whiskey. This is really a a nice whiskey for beginners for enjoying the whiskey and yeah, just sipping it neat as it's 40% ABV. And yeah, let's have a try. Mm, oh yeah, definitely tropical fruits, vanilla. Oh yeah, I do like it. And that, even a hint of banana in there. And that really reminds me of the flavor from what I've got from the, the wash bags. At the tour of Glamorange, you can actually try it from the um, wash bags and from the mash tun. And that's where you really realize how nice and how fruity they create the flavors before the distillation. And the distillation is then a very fine distillation. So they take all the heavier stuff out and they're left with this a very wholesome, fruity, fresh, fruity, tropical, fruity spirit. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay, in the flavor, you do have a bit more of a bourbon cask going on, vanilla, caramel, but uh, it's really fresh, fruity, with 40% ABV. It doesn't have that many edges. 10 years gives you a good amount of old age, but it's it's not overwhelming. It's not too strong. Mm. Yeah, mm. I like it. Mm. Yet, it's one of these northern ones, northern distilleries, where you have the um, this a little bit of a citrus character in there, and that's definitely in there. And it's because of the regionality, not because the flora and fauna is very similar, because they can differ from in the northern distilleries, but they tend to ha had the same style back in the day because they had kind of 
similar people working there and they did it in similar ways and the tradition kept on and now it's still being made as it was back in the day so that's the heritage of the flavor in the area except for those distilleries that have been built new up in the north of scotland yeah so that was my take on the original glen morangi nice entry style whiskey that you can enjoy need can enjoy very easily beginner friendly yeah thank you very much for watching and see you next time